The Gold Pass is being increased in price, but it will come with new rewards. I'm going to explain all of this, compare it with the old Gold Pass, and give you a trick at the end on how you can prevent this price increase, at least for a short period of time. Since introduced, the Season Pass has been the best value in Clash of Clans at 5 US dollars. It still will be the best value if you are spending money on the game, but it is being increased to 7 US dollars. Obviously, the price can vary slightly depending on your local country and currency, but for that extra $2, we are going to get some new rewards and also boosted rewards on what we previously got. With the most recent update, you might have noticed that the season challenge menus had changed, specifically the banks. This is because with the new gold pass, which will take effect next month, July the 1st, we are also going to be getting the builder base bank. This is in addition to the regular season bank for the home village. You might also notice the multiplier. I will explain that momentarily. But the builder base bank works exactly the same as the home village season bank in that as you are gaining loot in builder base attacks, it is added to your builder base bank and it caps off at the highest point of 10 million builder gold and 10 million builder elixir. With regards to the regular season bank here in the developer build, it still does say 25 million gold and elixir, 250,000 dark elixir, but we're being told that this is also being increased to 30 million gold and elixir, 300,000 dark elixir. This would mean it would jump up from the previous season bank tier of 20 million gold and elixir to the final tier, which would then be the 30 million. So already a little bit extra value, which is nice, but what about those multipliers? One of the stats the team shared with us is that 60% of players who purchase just the gold pass do not completely fill up their season bank and therefore do not reap the full rewards of their purchase. I am one of those players. I get the pass on multiple accounts. I don't fill up the season bank on most of them, to be honest. That's why they are adding the multiplier to help those players. The first one is for the regular season bank, the home village loot, and will be two times the loot. This is unlocked at 820 points. It's pretty self-explanatory, but usually if you loot hard half a million gold, half a million gold goes into your season bank. Now, once you apply the multiplier, if you loot half a million gold, one million gold will be added to your season bank. So you can fill it up faster, and it means for those players that don't usually fill it, they've got a better chance of doing so. The Builder Base Bank will actually be multiplied by four. This is unlocked at 880 points, and the exact same principle applies. Half a million Builder Gold would equal two million Builder Gold in the bank. Whilst this video is really focusing on the paid version of the pass, the gold pass, I did see that there were a couple of changes in the dev build for the free to play pass, the silver one. When I looked at the total amount of free rewards in the previous month, the June gold pass, there were 15 silver pass rewards. In the dev build here, there are 20 rewards. So potentially an increase in rewards for the silver pass. Now with that said, you can notice that there are five runes in the new gold pass. Previously, we always only got four. It would rotate as to which one we missed. We are being told that there will always be five runes in the gold pass, so one of every type. It also still appears that we'll gain the one shovel of obstacles and ten wall rings. The amount of claimable resources will remain unchanged. It does appear that we're getting 5,000 capital gold rather than 3,000. Again, this might just be month specific. With all of these extra rewards, some of you might have noticed the hidden drawback of this new gold pass though, since it will still only require 2,600 points to complete. Previously, if you wanted to fast forward through the pass, it was 100 gems for every reward tier. However, there are now more reward tiers. Supercell are decreasing the amount of gems from 100 to 90 in order to compensate, but overall for the entire pass, it would still cost more. So nothing major, it won't really impact that many players, but definitely something I wanted to inform you about. With that said, Said, we are not done with the extra rewards we're getting due to the price increase, and I am happy that Supercell are giving us more, not less, when they increase the price. Inflation is something that is taken into account. I know it is a digital game, but there's obviously lots of employees behind the scenes at Supercell, which if their salaries are going up, then things have to compensate. I'm not going to dwell on that, but I am happy that they're actually respecting us as players to ensure that we still get incredible value
value from the gold pass. Firstly, extra cosmetics. Now, the hero skin is actually unlocked at zero points. As soon as you buy the gold pass, you get the skin, which is awesome. However, we will get extra cosmetics. I'm not too fussed about this. We will get a couple of clan house decorations. It's a nice bonus, but I wouldn't necessarily pay extra money for those, if I'm honest. A decoration as well will also be here. In this case, it is the goblin dragon statue, which that interests me a little bit more because it's for my home village. I normally buy the decorations anyway, which typically sell for like $2.99. Again, for the majority of players, yeah, it's nice. It's an extra little bonus, but I think the progression, the loot-based bonus is really what gives us the extra value. And let's just be real about this as well. Nobody wants to see a price increase. Yeah, I'd rather it stay at $5. Of course I would. But in terms of it increasing to $7, I really admire that they are giving us a little bit extra rewards. And I still personally feel the price is fair, but I know that I am also privileged to be in a position where I can purchase the gold pass for $7. But again, that's why I want to create this video explaining it all so that you can be informed and make a decision as to whether that $7 is going to give you personally appropriate value because everyone will view this differently. The other new reward that you might have spotted in this video is the auto forge slot. This will give you an extra slot in your forge, which does not require a builder and resources cost 50% less to convert to capital gold. Despite the price increase, you could prevent this for a little while and get 10% off any of your future gold pass purchases by going to store.supercell.com. If you purchase gems for Clash of Clans through here, you get 10% more, but the gold pass currently is still at the previous price point. All you do is log in via Supercell ID and you can purchase multiple gold passes and activate them in the future. There is a cap on how many you can purchase for security reasons, and you can still enter a content creator code here on the Supercell website and in game before purchases. My code is Judo, and as ever, it is always much appreciated. It does help to support the channel. Once you've added the amount you want, you go through the payment process and you'll get your confirmation message. When you then log into Clash of Clans, your gold passes will be delivered. You can activate them through the Supercell ID menu. If you don't know where that is, that is the little cog. Then going to Connected, My Games, and you can see that I have six gold passes. Mine is already active for this current season. You could donate to your friends. Let's go ahead and donate one to Echo and Klaus for demonstration purposes. You're welcome, guys. If you do want to just use them for yourself, though, when the new season rolls around and you click Get Gold, pass, the price will not be there. There will just be a button to activate one of your gold passes. Don't tell Supercell I gave you that trick though. I hope this video has helped you to make an informed decision as to whether you will be purchasing the gold pass. I think with the extra rewards, the price increase is more than fair, but I also appreciate there will be differences of opinions in this. If you did enjoy this video and you want to see when I created a broken Clash of Clans account, it's on your screen. Enjoy the rest of your day.